Another day, another vlog, and this is the situation we've got in the room, bed on the floor, another bed, Jordan, where Jordan was sleeping, and of course, Joe is doing his hair. <laughs> Today. What do you mean you can't track? I'll track this. Get your scales and track it. <laughs> Just the eye, use the eyeball method. The EBE eyeball method. What'd you get then, Joe? I don't even know what that was. What was that? Granola? Granola. I've got bacon egg. A cake. What'd you get, guys? Oh, yes. It's not a picture, you know. <laughs> <laughs> what did the baby get? A bottle. A bottle. Was it macro tracks? We look like professionals. We're only going to body power, you know. <laughs> Why have you got 17 bags? Yeah, yeah. Back to the island if you want to go next. North to seven car park. Parking, yeah. Tell me we want to go to 19. We need to go to 19, though. Can we still park there? Can we, we drop stuff off? We've got can we drop can we drop stuff off though because we've got a boot full of like stuff if you've got a boot full of stuff then you need to go to n12 and well, i believe the show opens at nine and the deliveries have just finished okay deliveries finish at quarter nine okay so which one is it do we go island here left any other car parks north two three four whatever the going. Okay, it's a mad accent that isn't it fucking everyone's a drip that's this one <laughs> Where's the entrance into the expo? Is it there? 14? The entrance into the expo? It's that uh, glass building right Straight there. down and the right, yes. Yeah. So, okay. Do you forgot to say please? <laughs> <laughs> so we got here, we, we got to Body Power, and we've got the Body Power Active there. And this is where everyone's coming to find us. Obviously this will be in a vlog afterwards, so like we'll be telling you where it is. But, we've got a stand as we showed yourself last night. All kinds of going off in the background, people are dancing. And as we said yesterday on the vlog, we've got the guest of calories of these foods. And that they all happen to be the same amount of calories. And look how many is in there, compared to how many is in there. So that's the idea, people have got to guess the calories and the food, and they can win one of the prizes. So, that's yeah. it for Body Power. We're going to be talking in 20 minutes time. I'll let you see some of that footage in a second. here is something called the healthy 80 and the magic 20. It's just things to make you help you to understand it and remember it a little bit easier. The magic 20 is the cheesecake, it is the fish and chips, it is the sweets, it is the chocolate, it is the alcohol, it's the glass of wine, it's the beer. That's the magic 20. The healthy 80, this is percentages by the way, 20%, 80%. The healthy 80, what do you think that is? 80% of your food should be the healthy stuff. So 
So guys, we've just finished the first talk of the morning for Empowered by Eating. We are educating people on like having a healthier relationship with food and we were going through stuff we talk about on level two. But we're gonna go off for a little walk now and uh, me and Dean are gonna head off and talk to a few people we've, we've planned on meeting. It's quite interesting to have seen the amount of stuff that was going on here last night at 10 o'clock and it wasn't even ready. And now it's like, actually properly ready and you can like do you remember that hey Dean last night like coming in here and it was just completely yeah. just der a derelict building with builders going everywhere and now look at it it's a full on show it's you quite good still working on it this morning yeah it's, this morning you're still working on it this morning oh yeah who's in there let's gonna have a look at this is this Nick so this is a lot of the people that we learn from there's Ben Coomer. I've got to try yourself. Can't yeah, we can do, yeah. Yes, that. we can. You're an idiot. So, um, meal frequency does not impact metabolism. Again, if you think this stuff, I'm not calling you an idiot. Because hopefully you're open really to good. learning based on data and know empirical evidence the issue is is that he's been told this he's probably 40 45 and intelligent people are telling him different and he's just he will not listen so therefore he is an idiot three versus six meals on a weight loss diet we conclude that increasing meal frequency does not promote greater body weight loss nibbling versus gorging this is one versus nine meals a day and they use something called doubly labeled water basically you drink a radioactively labelled uh, water, um, radioactive isotope, and it perfectly measures your metabolism. It's our gold standard, mega expensive, so we're fortunate to have this data. But doubly labelled water, there's no difference between nibbling and gorging. It's black and white.
yourself. You don't have fucking time. I've got this really nice, big, shiny gym that has all this awesome equipment in, and I'm, I barely get a chance to train them. So I'm too busy working on the business. Write down exactly what things you are immensely passionate about when it comes to helping people achieve their goals. Immensely passionate about. Try and niche down here. Is it nutrition? Does nutrition float your boat? Do you love recipes? Do you love foods? Do you hate it? Think about this. Training. Are you the go-to person for training? Do you love your training principles? Do you do lots of research on training? You know, do you try new things? Is that what gets you up in the morning as a personal trainer? Rehabilitation. You know, who's a, who's a rehab person here? Yeah? More specific. Helping people specifically. Mindset. Anyone here do like neuro-linguistic programming, any kind of life coaching or anything else like that? Good. So what folks like this, this guy does it all. It's awesome. But you know, why get into that? It's what floats my boat, because it was my job, you know, when I was a contractor, but also, you know, I found myself seeing that there was a, a kind of a gap there. So many people are focusing on the nutritional training, but they weren't focusing on what's going on up there. And some of the greatest books that I read are about 70 to 80 years old. There's books that I've read on philosophy that are like 2,000 years old. And the message is exactly the same and relevant today as it has been there. The reality is, is that your mindset of why you do shit doesn't change. Training changes all the time. Nutrition changes all the time. I saw all come up with some of that wizardly way to keep you in a cal calorie deficit. But the more you understand about what's going on up in here, the more you can interpret your, your strengths and weaknesses and get better results, not just with yourself, but with your clients too. So with your own business, with your own fitness, and with your clients, because you know what's going on in that client's head of yours. Much easier to master the one than be average at them all. You know, niching down into something that you're more specific in means that you focus on it, you spend more time on it, and you become more of an authority in it because you're not stretching yourself too thin with your knowledge base. This is um, from a really good book called Essentialism by Greg McEwen. And it talks about energy. You know, energy and willpower is something that we all have. We usually you have a lot of energy and focus on. And one of the hardest things as a personal trainer and as a business person is learning how to say no. Because everyone tells you you need to be a yes man, you need to constantly take every opportunity you can get. But sometimes that can just drain your energy. And you have to get very good at sometimes focusing on your own shit, learning how to say no, and going, right, that's my go-to thing. This can be very hard for a personal trainer to do. When you've got someone that goes, hi Jamie, I'm a 50-year-old you know, woman and I want to give you some money to PT me, and you go, fuck off. I wouldn't tell to fuck off, but you know. No, I don't work with that person. I only work with 30 to 40 year old men. That's all I work for. It can be hard to turn down that money. But what happens is I've created this market going, no, I only work with those people. That's all I work with. Sorry, I can And we're done. We're on our way back from the uh, first day and I've nearly lost my voice. Just nearly got crashed into it. That was close. <laughs> Just carried on driving. <laughs> um, talks went really, really well. Uh, the first one was hardly anybody there because it was like 10 a.m. The second one was quite a few people there, so yeah, it was quite good. Anything to import? No, sure. loved it. Great day. What do you say? Sure. Lots of uh, yeah, good content for the, for you guys on here. Um, some good information. We'll probably not put the. Should we put the whole thing on the um, Facebook and the Instagram? The whole talk, as well as the vlog. Each each not, one. Yeah. So we'll put a whole thing on here as well, so if you're watching this, you might have seen snippets to it uh, to when we were speaking, but we'll put the whole thing on um, uh, Empowered Chris, YouTube and Facebook. It'll be on Empowered Fit Gym, probably, and it'll definitely be on Empowered by Eating. So maybe we could like put all them links up, um, and then they'll be in the description as well. So I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Um, I need to get um, petrol from the post office. You need to get petrol from the post office. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna go and have food now. Look at the size of this pizza we've just got. Well, Jordan's got it. <laughs> I like 
and shit. Oh, I got four. There's one on the other side. I got a steak. Uh, king prawns. Potatoes. I changed it. I changed it to chips. Potatoes. Why? Because macros. No. no. I'll get a shot. I'll get a shot of that steak. How did you get it cooked? Medium. Oh, yes. Oh, so we're back at the hotel. Um, Joe's left. <laughs> he got the bed off the floor <laughs> back on through here. Um, the, the biggest thing I've learned from today was about an hour ago sitting in a restaurant is time. Uh, that's the first time I've actually stopped. We sat down, we had a meal. That's the first time I've stopped since owning a gym. That's been about three weeks. And okay, granted, it's half past eight. We're going to be back up. Uh, we're going to be up again in the morning quite early. We've got a lot of stuff going on tomorrow. We're meeting um, PT Wars for uh, some sort of collaboration. Um, we've got a lot of Empowered by Eating followers coming over tomorrow. Um, we're speaking again twice. But it's now half past eight and I've still got... Once. What? You're only speaking once tomorrow. Okay, once then. <laughs> uh, yeah, really? What time? I, I think, I swear they said it was in the afternoon. Okay. We should really check this time. I need to so. text Dean's to us. Um, and also, yeah. Dean from my business list, so thanks for Dean to like organise and all this. Because while setting up the gym, I had absolutely no time whatsoever, and all of this entire event just got handed over to Dean. I just turned up to talk, um, which is absolutely great. But now it's half past eight. I've got inundated with messages that I've got to attend to. Don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining, but a lot of it is gym orientated. I've got a full inbox of emails to attend to. All just issues that might have happened during the um, the gym day because I've not been there and I've got to attend to them which is really fine um, got my book, got my laptop, I'm going to put my headphones on, I'm going to zone out for about an hour try and get all them done but yeah that's the biggest thing I've learned is time and the appreciation of actually being busy and how, what busy means like we have literally been or well, myself has literally been from half five in the morning the alarm goes off and I don't stop and hardly get time to train or eat until about half past nine at night every day so then when you have a little bit of time to sit down and have a meal like me and Jordan just did before it's like oh wow how busy have I been and now I can appreciate time I can appreciate how what actually being busy means which means in the future when I'm not so busy I'm going to really appreciate it so that's what I kind of learned today it was great connecting with all the people I connected with listening to Jamie um, I followed Jamie for a long time. He did a gym vlog similar to what I've done here. Uh, he inspired me to do that. It was great talking to him. I feel like um, I relate to a lot of his stuff, and I feel like he's read um, and, and, and learned a lot of the stuff that I've learned already. And there's a couple of years ahead, so it's great to be inspired by that. And hopefully, we can do some sort of collaboration in the future with him. We spoke about that, um, maybe a seminar together or something. But yeah. That's it, and um, look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow in the next vlog in the second day of Body Power. Thanks guys, see you tomorrow.